Alpha to Nazarjan Panda. That self same question I first asked two decades ago as an eager stripling headed for a jamboree, clad in scout khaki and guided by the lodestar of Ikhdeen, I served. <laughs> The stripling is gone, and the lodestar befogged by ambition to succeed as a member of the fourth estate, feeding the hungry moor print with instant news. Have I changed so much? These are yeasty times we live in, but they gain weightage from the garnered relics of Nagarjuna Konda, though muted by Minelia, this scent of Buddha Dharma still echoes to the voice of Nagarjuna, alchemist, transmutator, philosopher, founder of the Mahayana sect of Buddhism. Forget the past. It shackles those who forge the present. Mark this spot, Vijayapuri, where we hold back the waters of the Krishna with the Nagarjuna Sagar Dam that's arising. The Krishna is the leaven to abundance, knitting together the states of Maharashtra, Mysore and Andhra from source to sea. they say, and a kilometer and a half across. A bastion of masonry and concrete, 125 meters tall, making it the highest and the largest masonry dam so far in the world. We have in the region the abundance to build, all the stone that we need, all the skill and the labor to give bold shape to the dam. We hold back the Krishna to form a lake, some 215 square kilometers, more than the area of Calcutta and Bombay, making it the largest reservoir in India. The Nagarjuna Sagar project is mainly for irrigation, but will serve the needs for power too, by supplying many thousand kilowatts of electricity. Within the bowels of the dam are the penstocks, which plunge the Krishna waters into the heart of the powerhouse, translating their thrust into energy that develops industry and illuminates an entire countryside. Their plan bifurcates the water into canals on the right bank and the left. The right bank canal cleaves through stubble, rock and hill. Giant tunnels pierce the brazen prominence to ensure a smoother flow. With man-made aqueducts, canal waters leapfrog nature's streams and rivulets. Nagarjuna Sagar will quench a thirsting wasteland of nearly 12 lakh acres in Guntur and Nello districts of Andhra state. A big quench that enlarges food grain output by some 700,000 tons. The smaller left bank canal is planned to irrigate some 9 lakh acres in the districts of Nalgonda and Kamam. When did construction first begin? It began with a bang in February 1956. Since then, over 40,000 artisans, skilled and semi-skilled, have been daily as busy as bees on this apparent beehive of concrete activity. 
a beehive for betterment, perhaps, set within the halo of past enlightenment, spurred by the song of promise that wells the past to the present, the present to the future. shape and size of a growing optimism, the Nagarjuna Sagar project. Within a few years from now, the memory of hunger and want will be no more painful than a passing nightmare. perhaps will emerge in the coming years another Nagarjuna to fashion from the present site a new center of learning.
Nagarjuna Sagar, so strong, a symbol of today's striving, and a symphony of change, where moves the wheel of time, bringing birth to a new dharma, or way of life. ఈ వీడియో మీకు నచ్చినట్లయితే లైక్ చేయండి మీకు తెలిసిన వారితో షేర్ చేయండి ఇలాంటి వీడియోస్ మరిన్ని చూడటానికి మన ఛానల్కి సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేసుకోండి పక్కనే ఉన్న బెల్ ఐకాన్ క్లిక్ చేసి ఆల్ నోటిఫికేషన్స్ సెలెక్ట్ చేసుకోండి